Scientists announced the discovery of a new species of sauropod that was one of the last and largest of its kind. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and the sauropods were one of the most diverse groups of dinosaurs throughout the dinosaur's reign. While there are many different groups of sauropods, they are generically classified into three main families, the diplodocids, the brachiosaurids, and the titanosaurids. The diplodocids were the long boys of the sauropods. They were very long, horizontally positioned, and likely fed low to the ground. The brachiosaurids were the tall boys. They were effectively the dinosaurs' version of modern giraffes. And the titanosaurs, which include the largest dinosaurs known were something kind of in between in terms of their positioning we're not entirely sure but they were the most diverse and successful of the sauropods and while the titanosaurs effectively pushed out most other sauropod groups taking over the range of all of the sauropods there were other groups of sauropods that did live alongside the titanosaurs one of these other sauropods is the newly described Cydosaurus murray, which was first discovered in Argentina in 2012. Although it's been 12 years since the initial discovery of Cydosaura, it took a number of years to excavate all of the fossils available. In total, they found fossils from four different individuals of this new species. The animals likely died in a muddy area near a river, maybe they just got stuck in the mud and ended up expiring, but something else that was discovered was a new species of theropod predator, which has been given the name of Meraxes, which I will talk about in the future. The fossils of Cytosaur date back to between 96 and 93 million years ago, placing it at the time of the late Cretaceous, which ran from 100 to 66 million years ago. According to the study, Cytosaur, based on the four individuals found, got up to around 65 feet in length and weighed around 15 tons. In the grand scheme of sauropods, that's very small. There are much larger sauropods in the fossil record, including Patagotitan and Argentinosaurus, but Cytosaurus is still incredibly unique. And that's because Cytosaurus is a Rabachisaurid, which was a group of sauropods that on average only weighed about as much as a modern day African elephant, around 10 tons. So that means that Cytosaurus was roughly five times heavier than the average Rabachisaurid which is very interesting. The Rabachisauridae family of sauropods is an interesting group. While most scientists agree that they are members of the superfamily Diplodocoidae, they aren't like other Diplodocids. They lack the divided cervical neural spines that characterize the Diplodocoidea family, which leads scientists to believe that the Rabachisaurs were more primitive than their Diplodocid cousins. But what really sets the Rabachisaurid sauropods apart from their cousins is the presence presence of dental batteries. At least some Rabachisaurids had these dental batteries, which are just hundreds upon hundreds of teeth that line their mouths. One such example would be Nigrosaurus, which some of you might have heard of. While we don't know if Cydosaura had a dental battery like other Rabachisaurids, there are other characteristics of Cydosaura that make it unique. Some of these characteristics are linked to its larger size. As an example, it had more robust hind limbs, which would be needed to support a heavier body. And based off the fossil Cytosaur was actually more closely related to Rabachisaurs that lived in the early Cretaceous rather than Rabachisaurs that lived during its same time in the late Cretaceous. This discovery shows that the Rabachisaurs were probably a lot more diverse than originally thought all the way up until the end days. Despite the fact that Cytosaur was one of the largest members of its family, it was one of the last. The Rabachi swords ended up going extinct only a few million years after Cytosaur lived, for unknown reasons. As always, we're going to need more fossils to understand more about Cytosaur and its relatives, but for now, this new discovery gives us one more piece to the puzzle of dinosaur evolution.